is Val. Welcome to a unique social experiment designed to push nine humans to their absolute physical, oh. mental, and emotional breaking points. Locked in isolation pods and cut off from all contact, they are not competing against each other, <laughs> but against themselves. Is this even legal? Oh, God, this is so hard. In the end, only one will remain. He or she will leave solitary with $50,000. My role is to observe what makes humans strong oh. and what makes them weak. To push. That's the most pain I've ever felt. To prod. What? <laughs> Freaky. And to discover who will crack next. Welcome to Solitary 3.0. Previously on Solitary, my guests suffered through a torturous sampling of stools. Oh, that hurts. Until two and eight were the last ones sitting. Three more chairs, let's go. A change of clothes toyed with their self-image. <laughs> While my latest test weighed heavily on their minds and bodies. Wait, it's really 40,000 times you have to try this. Number two prevailed. Yeah, baby, what? earning him freedom from my next treatment. Oh, my God! And the power to handicap another guest. I want to stick these on number nine's nipples, both of them. Cool. Which number nine seemed to enjoy. Woo! Oh, my gosh! My other guests were not so happy. After enduring the anguish of 14 flesh clips, number one, the model, was the first to quit. She left solitary forever leaving my seven remaining guests to continue in agony. I will let them suffer until they reach their own individual breaking points. I hope you can handle two flesh clips at a time. Let's go. All right, dude, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Please clamp your 15th and 16th clip on the same part of your body as you find them on the dummy. All right. Man, that hurts. These are killing it. Oh, uh, this hurts. That one really hurt. That was a stupid strategy, because that one hurt. Clamp 17 and 18 now. Oh, that hurts. The pain is sharp, and the pain is everywhere. I feel like Shall we try three pins at a time? Why not, Val? Woo! Oh my god! This hurts like hell. But worse. I look like a freak show. Bet your number nine's used to this kind of stuff. I look cool. This is a good look for me. I want them off so bad I can cry right now. Uh, oh! God! Piss me off. Do I lose a nail for $50,000? As the pain intensifies, my guests are doing anything and everything they can to escape it. Uh, moving around gets my mind off of it. It helps. It doesn't hurt. It's just sensation. I'm thinking about anything that comes to mind just to try to get my mind off the pain. <laughs> I am feeling so much pain. <sighs> mind over matter, Val. Mind over matter. This is what I was hoping this is gonna be like when I came here. I have 40 clips on my body. And guess what? I think I'm gonna quit. My fingers are losing their, they're turning purple. Literally they are. I quit, I'm sorry. Oh my God, this hurts way too bad. 
You realize this could be the end of our time together? Yep, I realize that. Ow, it hurts even more that they're off. Ah, this hurts! Oh my gosh. Number three, you were not the first to quit this treatment. Was it worth it? My goal was to put 40 clips on my body, and I did. I'm pretty damn proud. Number three was my second guess to quit. The next phase of this treatment should increase that total. This treatment is now not over. Your meal slot contains your next eight flesh clips. Sorry, I meant to say face clips. That is something you would have us do, Val. Yes, it is. No way. No way. Are you serious? Yes. Nice. I'm all set. Do it. Think about this, Maureen. Did someone quit? Please put on your first face clip. Hey, Val. I'm gonna... I have a feeling somebody stopped. <laughs> That's the most pain I've ever felt. Physical pain in my life. Number five. If you were the first to hit the red button, your time in solitary will be over. I'm not ready to leave, and I'm hoping that me pushing the button after I had all those spins on me was enough to make it to the next round. Number five, you were <laughs> not the first to quit. <laughs> It is time for my remaining guests to face the next eight clips. Clamp the first two clips to your earlobes. Think of them as solitary earrings. Val, I believe I am the only one here this enthusiastic about putting these clips onto my face. This hurts! Ah! It feels horrible. That's sexy. Next up, your eyebrows. My face is in real pain. I think I've got this one. I gotta stay in that. And now, the top of your ears. Ain't this a bitch? Top of my ear? That is just <laughs> crazy. I look like the creature from the Black Lagoons. Please place the next clip between the eyes. Uh, uh, it hurts. I'm in pain. Uh, oh. That's nothing. That's nothing at all. I have saved the worst for last. Give me some lip, some bottom lip. <laughs> you know what? I know there's a quitter and I'm not quitting. <gasps> Welcome to Solitary 3.0. It is now time for phase three of this treatment, in which I tell you that it is over. Woo! Ah! I am a bitch when it comes to pain, but look where I'm at. I am stomping on you pain. My guests have withstood more than I thought possible. Congratulations. You may now remove your clips. Oh. When the clips are removed after being on for two hours, blood rushes through my guest's capillaries in an attempt to heal the wounds caused by the flesh clips. This is when the real pain begins. <laughs> this hurts more! It seems that you are in great pain, number eight. Leave me alone! I feel like they're on. Oh, oh, God. Fingers hurt my head and my stomach and my legs. Oh, my God. Oh. I have never 
been through with this much pain in my life. Here we go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Because if you did that already, I can't imagine what else is coming. Oh. They have no idea. Up next, the solitary bar is open for business. Oh! And what goes down must come up. Then, the guests play an unfriendly game of give and take. We gonna fight for this right here. Before everyone starts ah! to feel trapped. When Solitary 3.0 resumes. My latest treatment proves that the spirit is willing, even when the flesh is weak. Attention, please. There has been another casualty in solitary. The guest no longer with us is number one. Oh, the model. Later, number one. I think she gets to see her daughter now. The 36-year-old model called it quits after just 14 clips. 14 clips? And you still made us do 34 more? That was hurt, no, Val. I could see a woman not being able to take it. Even though I'm gonna win this, I still want the ladies to conquer this. My seven remaining guests have clearly raised the bar in solitary, so I will reward them with a drink or two, or 16. Oh, we're gonna play some beer pong. This doesn't look like fun. This is beer pong, it's a done deal. Actually, number two, it is root beer pong. Well, that's a lot of root beer to drink. I hope this is diet. You must throw a ping pong ball into each cup before you are allowed to drink it. Once you have finished all 16 cups, you must throw one more ball into the center cup to win. I'm ready to party, Val. This is no party. You are playing to win an advantage during what comes next. Oh, this sounds cool. On your mark, get set, cheers. Is that a word for go? Yes. Ooh, dang it. Got one. Got two. Oh, go, go. Yes. This game was made for me. I'm still probably the best at this out of anyone. My stomach is getting bigger already. I feel it. Oh, this is going to get gross. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. I'm okay about not winning this because there's a lot of other challenges up ahead. I'll let the other contestants puke themselves out. Oh, three left, Val. I seriously feel like I'm about to throw up. <sighs> Whoa! Number two must finish all six cups of his root beer to win. Number seven is one throw away from beating him. Yeah! <laughs> the solitary bar is now closed. That was disgusting. I don't even like root beer at all. I hate root beer. Oh, man. I can't even move. And now for the results. In last place, drinking only three glasses of root beer <laughs> is number five. Surprise! Coming in first, after a very close race, number seven. Feel free to take a moment to celebrate your victory. I am giving my guests very little time to recover, so I will do something to lift their spirits. I had prepared seven mystery gifts to be handed out based on your performance in Root Beer Pong. Since number five was last, number five will choose first. Because in a game of greed, picking first is worst. Give me gift number five. Please go to your meal slot and retrieve your gift. Mm. Three donuts? Three donuts? I like this. Number three. Number five has received three donuts. You may either take the donuts or choose from the remaining mystery gifts. Take a new one. Three. I am starting to sense a pattern. Cheesecake. 
What would I do with cheesecake? Um, eat it. Number eight, you may choose either the donuts, the cheesecake, or one of the mystery gifts. I'll take my chances, Val, with the mystery. Let me have number four. One extra hour of sleep. Thank you, baby. I can use this. Damn the food. <laughs> oh, I like this. There is just one wrinkle, number eight. Oh, somebody can take my up. I s up. We gonna fight for this right here. I'm turn violent. Number nine, what would you like to do? I'd like a mystery item, because I don't really think I need anything that's been picked so far. I'd like number six. Number six says, lose one hour of sleep. <laughs> awesome. Number four, what is your choice? All right, I'm taking that hour of sleep then. Number eight, number four has taken your extra hour of sleep. What is? It's number four? It was meant to be. This is awesome. Number eight, since number four has stolen your precious hour of sleep, you must choose another gift. Seven. 30 minutes. 30 minutes on a bicycle seat. Sounds like another treatment. It is not a treatment. It is a handicap you can give to somebody else. Good looking out. Thank you. Your turn, number two. I'll take the donuts. It smells like cinnamon with flour and sugar. Can you almost taste those donuts, number five? Yeah. Too bad you will not be eating them. They have been taken by number two. Tell them to enjoy those fattening donuts. Now, which of the remaining mystery gifts would you like to pick? Two. Wine and cheese plate, baby. I like this. Number seven. Winning my root beer pong challenge caused you to well up with such emotion that you have earned the right to any of my gifts. I will even let you open the last mystery gift before you decide. Five mouse, five mouse traps. You may keep the mouse traps or trade them for any one of my other gifts. I would have to take the extra hour of sleep, Val. Number four. Remember how good it felt taking number eight's hour of sleep? That is how number seven feels right now. Damn it! I left him a message on the back of it. Let's see how he likes that. Five mouse traps? What does that mean? There is a reason I call them mystery gifts. <laughs> number four, you have also received a gift from number eight. I would like number four to sit on that nasty ass seat for taking my one hour extra sleep. <sighs> Everyone seems to be enjoying my gifts. One extra hour of sleep. You're on the back. Oh, it's game on now. This makes me forget I'm in a pod. But not all of my gifts are so enjoyable. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, it hurts when you get up. Do you ever wonder how I devise such exquisite torments for my guests? It is a gift. Number eight! Coming up, a test with so much bite, it makes every guest sniff. Then, a treatment that causes a real stink. Is this safe? When Solitary 3.0 returns. The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, as my seven little lab rats are about to find out. Oh, what the? Cheese. I'm noticing some pepper jack. I'm a fan of that. I just don't want to be caught with a mouse trap. Attention, please. To win this test, you must arrange seven letters to form a specific word. The letters are hidden inside the blocks of cheese. To search for each letter, you must set 10 mouse traps for an ultimate total of 70 traps. Any traps you set off must be reset before you move on. This is gonna be harder than it looks.
You will also remember that during the gift exchange, number seven gave five mouse traps to number four. Those traps are set and secured. A permanent five trap head start for pod four. A little bit of an advantage. Ah, thank you, number seven! This test begins when I say cheese. Gotta learn how to build a better mouse trap. Well, I got ten set. You may now search for a letter by eating the cheese without the use of your hands. Val, I'm ready to eat cheese. I have 10 traps, Val. Val, I'm ready. I got 10 already done. Then it is time to get cheesy. I need to pick up the pace. That's what's my problem. Number four is probably way past me right now, and that is not good. There we go. I'm ready to eat cheese. I have 10, Val. Val, 10 mouse traps. Oh, that hurts when you bite. When you finish this row number four, you can get your final letter. Trust that one. Mm -hmm. Close. You must start over by resetting your traps. This is the greatest test in the world. Thank you, number two. That was a fake. That was a false alarm. Life sucks. <laughs> that was so close. I'm too mad to even be mad, so I'm actually like okay now. You have one more letter to uncover. You will find your last serving of cheese in your meal slot. Oh, uh, that's why we have the towel. I'm gonna set these off for me. Oh my god! You gotta do this with your face? Problem number nine. There's no way to do this, but put your face in it, is there? No, sir. <laughs> that is 70 traps. You may get your final letter. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, ah! <laughs> this is disgusting. More cheese, Val! <laughs> you may now arrange the letters. While there are several valid combinations, the specific word I am looking for is angered. All right. Got it. Not yet. Before you tell me your word, you must first set off all your traps. What is your word? Oh, That was garden. There's two E's. I'm incorrect. I have garden. Before you guess again, you must reset all 70 traps. All right. Back to the traps. 
How am I supposed to? Oh, I'm gonna drown, man. Okay, I got it. Oh, spicy cheese, Val. That hurts. R, two E's, a G, and an N. Oh. Damn, dear. Is that a word? This is hard. <clears throat> that sucks. What is your word? Enraged? Please tell me it's the right word. It is not. While six of my guests continue to run the rat race, one has stopped dead in her traps. <gasps> mouse traps, mouse traps. Ouch. I'm gonna go with grenade. I'm gonna kick myself in the butt if it's not grenade. Please set off your traps. What is your word? Grenade. Incorrect. You must reset all 70 traps and guess again. I want to set them all up again if I'm wrong. Be careful. Angered. Oh my god. Come on! <sighs> what is your word? Angered! Angered! Your word is. Correct. Ah! The question is, were you the first to solve my puzzle? Oh, no. Angered. Correct. Yeah! I finally finished this Even with my eyeballs burning and my nose burning, but woo! Angered. Correct. Thank you, Val. For those of you still working, this test is now over. What is there besides grenade? Seriously, though. It is a word you should be very familiar with by now. The word is angered. Son of a bitch. <laughs> the leader of the Rat Pack and the winner of this test is... Number four. Thank you. And bringing up the tail in last place, number five. I don't want to do the next treatment. No one wants to do any of my treatments, but they will all have to, except for number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Up next, one guest <laughs> disintegrates. I, just, I can't tape all those things at one time, and I just lost it. <laughs> Val it's cooks up a very smelly oh. treatment when Solitary 3.0 continues. The Stockholm Syndrome is an emotional response in which a captive falls in love with their keeper. I wonder if that is true in Solitary. Number nine, I am curious. How do you feel about me? I love you, Val. I can't get enough of you. Do you love me, number five? Of course I do. That's why I'm still here. You sweet. Yes, very much. Of course. I don't know. I love you, Val. Most of you have professed affection for me, but I need it in writing. On the chalkboard, write, I love Val. 500 times. No way. You're f***ing with me. This is lovely. I hate you, pal. The first guest to complete the task wins one hour of sleep. Ah, uh, here we go. You may write now. Love it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Done, Val. Five hundred. Five hundred, Val. Well done, my guests. I am honored by your devotion. It is a shame there is only one winner. And that is... Number seven. Woo! 
I love that. While number seven gets a chance to pull himself together, my other guests are falling apart. I quit so bad. I'm like a wreck, physically and mentally and emotionally. It's like all so wear and tear on me. My body hurts so bad. And I think about my bed or going home and I'll start to cry or it's just seeing my family. What is keeping you here? Pride. I'm ready to cry and go home, go to sleep, try talking to myself, try not to quit. Does pacing help? It does. I have to find ways to entertain myself because it feels like hell. This room is so tiny, and if I let my mind get to me, I just want to scream. Where's my happy place? It's a lot like this pod, only darker. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. Who I am or what I want. Who I am or what I want. Number four, what is on your mind? My father, which I don't want to get into that because that'll be a mess. <laughs> what is your problem with your father? No, it's not my problem, it's his. <sighs> what is his problem then? He lost his job two years ago. He gave up on life. He purposely like ramped into a police car to get himself put in prison because he didn't want to try anymore because he couldn't find a job. And then the worst part is one week after he goes to prison, that's when I find out about my ex cheating on me. I can't take both those things at one time. And I just lost it. I just shut down and I just let it go. I didn't try anymore. It just sucks. is a heavy load to carry. Are you trying to win solitary to prove something to your father? If he sees me accomplishing stuff and setting my mind to something, maybe you can see that, you know, set your mind to something, you know, you can be happy again. You have already proven you have a great capacity to withstand the emotional and physical stresses of solitary. Oh, I think physical pain's easier to deal with than emotional. And I provide plenty of both. <laughs> ah, funny. You crack me up, Belle. From the sound of it, most of my guests are starting to crack. When we return, something's rotten in the state of Ew. solitary. <laughs> oh! Really rotten. Smells like someone pooed it. You're gonna see a puke first. Next. Solitary is not merely about sensory deprivation. It can also be about sensory overload. While number four enjoys his freedom from this treatment, I will challenge the rest of my guests to a barrage of perverse smells. Ooh, I'm playing chemist. Looks like you're gonna be hurting our little nostrils. There's a lot of different concoctions. This is smells. Oh my God. Do we have to inhale all of this? Yes, you will inhale a series of severe scents. Using my specially designed mask, you will plug in and breathe deep for as long as you can, or until you hit the red button and quit. Please put on your masks. It is time for your first smell. Plug in to beaker number one. Ladies and gentlemen, start your smelling. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In, out, in, out, in. <laughs> what is that smell? Butthole. Believe it or not, that is the most fragrant of my fragrances. Carrot cake. A rotten ass carrot cake. <laughs> That is awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. You are less likely to enjoy horseradish. <coughs> uh, oh, man. Round 
round two is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's gonna clear the sinuses. Oh, my. Is this safe? Remember why you are here to help you find your inner strengths and personal limits. The, in, the inner limits of my nostrils? I like this. That is the spirit. Now, relax, unwind, and breathe deep the gathering gloom. Smell number three, puree of pig. Oh, this is not good. Oh, yeah, it's bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. Dude, I cannot let my people down by puking on that one. Smell number four, spoiled fish. intestines. Smells like someone pooed it. Oh, it's got to keep thinking happy thoughts, great smell, prime rib thoughts. Liquid ass. <laughs> it's fat lady's booty. I'm going to get some of this booty. This isn't harmful, is it? Rancid cat food. You son of a bleach. Rotten oysters. Ah! That smelled really foul. Smell number nine, shark chum. Oh my god. Are you serious? Just when you thought the worst was behind you, it is time to unleash my most monstrous concoction yet. Roadkill. Oh! kill. <laughs> no way. Two again? I'm tired, dude. I'm fading. You have successfully completed phase one of this treatment. What they do not know is that was just a warm up. Please begin phase two with a trip to your meal slot. What? to drink anything. As you know, the senses of smell and taste are intricately linked to potentially devastating effects. Please retrieve your puke bowls and fill your shot glass from beaker number two, horseradish concentrate. No way. You're gonna see a puke fest. I thought nothing that nasty was gonna happen in this place. <sighs> We're not doing this. No way. You will have 20 seconds to drink the shot. Beginning now. Oh. You will now have to do a penalty round. I feel like this entire treatment has been a penalty round. You must finish the horseradish shot that you did not consume, plus a second shot of horseradish. And what happens if I don't finish this one? Then you have quit this treatment and your stay in solitary may be over. Please stand by. The next round will begin shortly. 
No way. No. Oh, oh my God. I want to barf so bad right now. Oh. Are you not enjoying my treatment? I want to throw up so bad, but I hate throwing up. Oh my God. If you want to continue, you will have to get your head and your stomach back in the game. Hell no. Hell no. I'm done. That. Number two. Not long ago, you were pounding your chest. Now you are pounding the red button. I am surprised. I had to hold my stomach. It hurt that bad. We have a conundrum. Number five hovers at the brink of extinction. But number two has quit the treatment before I have resolved number five's fate. This is fascinating. I didn't even hesitate to quit because I was for sure somebody quit already. And I am for sure that you are incorrect. You are the first to quit this treatment. Hell no. I put money down in somebody, some one person I quit. Because smelling all that was sick. However, one of my other guests is already in a penalty round. What? If that guest fails at their penalty, your stay in solitary will continue. But if that guest succeeds, you must leave solitary forever. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Your fate is in their hands and mouth and stomach. Number five. You have 10 seconds to drink your first penalty shot, starting now. On the next solitary, are Val's toxic shots too much for number five to swallow? Then, a test that makes everyone's head spin. Believe me, I'm about to crack. Oh my God, this is so hard. And the sweetest treatment ever turns sour. Oh, balls. Those are so gross. On the next download of Solitary 3.0.